Okay, students. Let us continue our session with the distal radar oscilloscope. So, uh, the distal story oscilloscope, what it contains, uh, that we will see with the help of this block diagram. So, this is a, a basic block diagram of a digital radar oscilloscope when measuring the voltage. So, the voltage levels we are measuring with the help of uh, this type of, uh, of uh, distal type radar oscilloscope. So, in this digital radio oscilloscope, what are the blocks are available that first we will see. Right. So, first here we have the sampled signal. The input uh, we are sample uh, we are sampling and the sampled signal here we have. So, this is the input of the uh, for the total block of this uh, concept. So, this concept, uh, the digital readout oscilloscope has the input of sampled signal. The sampled signal is fed to the directly to the comparator. Uh, here we have two types of comparator. Start comparator and stop comparator. We have two types of comparator. Start comparator and stop comparator. So, this start comparator and stop comparator has the same input uh, that is the sampled information. So, these are the two inputs here we have, okay. So, the first one is sampled signal and the sampled signal we are giving to the start comparator and to the stop comparator. The same sampled signal we are also giving to the, we are also giving to the clock gate. So, here we are giving to the clock gate also. This is sampled information we are giving to the clock gate also. So, that is the information. This is the first two steps. So, the sample signal we are giving the start comparator and stop comparator. And the same, the sampled information you can see here on the CRT screen. You are on the CRT screen, you can just see the same signal. The CRT is displaying the waveform. See here, the waveform we can see here. This is the waveform portion. So, this yellow color represented a part. This yellow color represented area is nothing but as the view or the viewing screen of the CRT. In the viewing CRT of the screen, here you can see the red color portion of the signal where this portion has lowest value that is minimum value and the maximum value. Okay, this minimum value and maximum value of the vertical direction information we have to measure. This diagram particularly we are displaying the digital radio oscilloscope when measuring the voltage. When we are measuring the voltage, this is the waveform. And you can see the lower portion and upper portion also. The lower portion signal, so see here, the lower portion signal, the lower portion signal, here we are... <laughs> The lower portion signal we can see with the zero percentage voltage memory. So here we have zero percentage voltage memory, hundred percent voltage memory. Here we have two stages of the uh, uh, this amplitude signal: low voltage and high voltage. Zero percentage voltage, high percentage voltage. Two types of uh, informations are available. So here we have a potentiometer or we have a resistor. This resistor, well, this resistor has two knobs. This resistor has two knobs. One is the start comparator, one is the stop comparator. When the comparator has two working, uh, start the starting working of the comparator, stopping the comparator work. So this resistor is connected to the zero percentage voltage of the signal and hundred percentage of voltage of the signal. So whenever this potentiometer, whenever the input signal, the input sampled signal is consisting of zero percentage of voltage, then it will give some value of those, then it will produce some a uh, variable resistance value when it is maximum voltage when the signal has a maximum voltage then it is representing the one type of resistance with this type of resistance the start and stop comparator is going to work this comparator when the comparator is starting it will give it opens the uh, clock gate when the zero compare the stop comparator is going to be activated then it closes the 
clocked gate. So the gate of the clock will be opened and uh, closed based on the start and comparator informations. The start and stop comparators are working based on the uh, signal amplitude levels. If it is zero, it will give the some potentiometer value. If it is hundred percent, it will give some more potentiometer values. These two voltages are these two uh, this way resistance variations are connected to the start and stop comparator. The start and stop comparator decides where we have to open the gate or close the gate at the clocked gate. Okay, whenever the gate is opened, it will send some information. So particularly, this digital CRO has consisting of a CRT display and a counter also. And we have a counter. How many samples we have uh, uh, displayed in the section? Okay, that many number of samples you can see in by using that counter. So basically, the digital readout oscilloscope has a CRT and a counter display. A counter display. Let us see the theoretical discussion. The input waveform is sampled and the sampling circuit advances the sampling position of the fixed increments a process called strobing. Here we have the definition of strobing. Here the, uh, the definition of strobing. The definition of strobing is nothing but as the input waveform is sampled and the sampling uh, circuit advances the sampling position in your fixed increments in your fixed increments the sampling position is advances so this is the process called strobing the equivalent time between each sample depends on the numbers of the samples taken per centimeter and on the sweep time per centimeter for example a sweep rate so see here the example a sweep rate of 1 nanoseconds per centimeter and a sampling rate of 100 samples per centimeter gives a time of 10 picoseconds per sample okay what here it is saying the equality time between each sample depends upon the number of samples taken per centimeter so in between the sample uh, in between the samples how much time we have to provide that time is completely depends upon the per centimeter how many samples we have framed for uh, centimeter how many samples we have provided so the sweep rate is nothing but as the gap between the samples for example see here a sweep rate of 1 nanoseconds per centimeter that is in between the sweep uh, uh, time period if you are saying that 1 nanoseconds per centimeter then the sampling rate is 100 samples per sample uh, per centimeter 100 samples per centimeter gives a time of 10 picoseconds per se, uh, sample it will give the time of 10 picoseconds per sample so this is the uh, basically sweep time for this type of digital say, uh, also readout oscilloscopes next for, uh, for this block diagram, for this block diagram, see the two intensified portions of the CRT trace is identified 0% and 100% zones. So, I just now I said that. So, this is the display of the digital readout oscilloscope. This is the display of digital readout oscilloscope. Okay, here we have. You can identify the 0% and 100% Jones. The 0% and 100% Jones portion. Each zone can be shifted to any part of the display. So here the display uh, is shifting from 0 to 100 or 100 to 0. Any type of shifting we can see here. The voltage divider taps between the 0% and 100% memory voltage are set for start and stop timing the 0% and 100% memory voltages uh, they will uh, set uh, either starting the comparator or stopping the comparator that is uh, it will give the start time and it will give the stop timings okay so it is also important it will start and stop the timings it will give the start and stop timing start and stop timings the 0% and 100% will give start and stop the timings 
by coincidence of any of the input waveform with the selected percentage point is sensed by this voltage comparator the coincidence of the any input waveform with the selected percentage of sensed is by the voltage comparator so the voltage comparator is sensing the any portion of amount of voltages right so the whatever the input waveform you are giving the input waveform has some percentage of voltages the zero percentage or 100 percentage this information can be sensed by the voltage comparator it may be start comparator it may be stop comparator the numbers of the clock pulses which correspond to the actual sample is taken or read out digitally in a nixel display tube in nano micro milli or milliseconds nanoseconds or microseconds or milliseconds here we have a nixel display tube in here in this wave in this uh, In this CRT, we have Nixel tube CRT display. In this Nixel tube CRT display, it will decide the samples we have to show in milliseconds or microseconds or seconds based on the information which will be available the based on the sampling frequency. So see here the number of clock pulses. The number of clock pulses will also decide the corresponding to the actual sample taken or read out digitally in a Nixel display tube with the nano, micro, milli or seconds. May nanoseconds, microseconds or milliseconds. If based on that information, the clock signal, based on the clock number of clock cycles that will display the portion of the signal. Okay, see here. Next, so the same block diagram we are extending for uh, representing the time behaviors that is a sweep timings, uh, right? If the uh, start comparator and start uh, stop comparator both are available for these two comparators, uh, we are connecting. Uh, we are, these two comparators are connected from a linear ramp generator. See here, we have a linear ramp generator. So a linear ramp generator will be looks like. Uh, if the ramp is started, this comparator is going to work. If the ramp is down forwarded, then the stop comparator is going to be worked. So starting of the sweep, this comparator is going to work. The stopping of the comparator, this is going to be work. Here, uh, we have we were going to see the concept of uh, the same digital uh, readout oscilloscope with uh, voltage to time conversion. Voltage to time conversion. The same previous block diagram which will be discussed up to now, that same diagram is also here available. But this start and stop comparator also has to input of linear ramp generator. So the comparator now comparing two informations. It has one input is zero percentage voltage memory and the second input is linear ramp generator. Right, so these two informations uh, it will process the start and stop comparator. So let us see. The CRT display is obtained by sampling the zero percent difference voltage as chosen by the memory circuit. If you are giving the zero percentage memory voltage as a reference point uh, to the comparator, this is one side of the comparator input. Right. The another side of the comparator input, a linear ramp generator produces some voltages. So here, the linear ramp generator, it continuously generates some voltage, voltages information. That voltage information we are giving to the start and stop comparators. A linear ramp generator produces a voltage when the ramp voltage equals to zero percent reference of the zero percent reference, then the gate opens. So here we are giving zero percentage of voltage amount of data to the storage comparator. Here ramp generator also has zero percentage voltages. Then this one and this one both are match match. So here we have zero percentage ramp voltage, zero percent reference of voltage, zero percent zone is also available in the signal. Then this start comparator is going to be activated. When the start comparator is going to be activate, then it will open the clock gate. Okay, right. 
when the ramp over equals to 100% reference then the gate closes the 100% of voltage memory we are giving the, to the stop comparator the stop comparator also has information from linear ramp generator when 100% voltage memory is available the ramp voltage also generating 100% is of amount of memory then it uh, when these two are equals then the gate is going to be closed with the assertion from the stop comparator right the number of clock pulses that activate the counter is directly proportional to the voltage between the selected reference and the readout in millivolts or volts by the nixon should display so whatever the information you are giving uh, that is start uh, uh, gate opening or gate closing that uh, information has to be displayed with the help of nixon should display with the representation of whether millivolts or volts okay based on the uh, reference voltages and based on the comparator decisions that information has to be displayed finally at the digital readout oscilloscope this is the concept of digital readout oscilloscope okay thank you